are many ways to make your community a healthier place to live. One way is through citizen science. Residents and community groups collect data to better understand their local environment and address issues of concern. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency often collaborates with these citizen scientists to reduce pollution and act on climate change. I love the environmental justice movement. Um, sort of <laughs> makes this about people. And if you care about people and if you care about equity, then that is how we all came to this work. When you're in Hunts Point, you're, the moment you're in that community, you're assaulted by trucks and the byproducts of that. So for decades, we as folks that have been living there, raising our families, working there day on and day out, understood that we felt different. We understand that we feel different and we understand that that difference is not right. We also understood that that was not the case in other more affluent places um, in the city. Why? And so th those basic questions are essentially what drove our communities to wanting answers. Answers that were based and grounded in research that could not be disputed. Um, and to back up the expertise that the community had, had been talking about for decades. So I think that work is, 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 is great. And I also think that there is a lot more room that's needed for uh, new studies to take root. So the fact that Real science monitoring technology is being developed so that citizens, when they're feeling something, they can go and study it and then, you know, provide that information to our institutions that might not have it or to the elected officials that might not, you know, be aware of, of a particular issue, I think is groundbreaking and, and needs to happen more. Armed with information about dust, soot, and smoke concentrations in the air, Kelly was able to bring the issue to the attention of local officials to take action to improve air quality in the South Bronx. If your community has an environmental concern, contact EPA or your state's Department of Health or Environment.